first, the first thing I think of when I hear about Salinger's grisly experience in World War II, my first reaction is for Esme with love and squalor. It's hard not to think about that story where Sergeant X goes badly, crazy, depressed, justifiably so, you know, and you, sometimes you wonder, you know, why is Seymour in Perfect Day for Banana Fish so depressed? Why is Sergeant X in for Esme so woebegone? And apparently, again, one doesn't want to psychobiographize every single moment. It's not like every little moment of sadness has been underwritten by World War II. But I think it's the huge background behind a lot of Salinger's work. Sometimes you wonder, you know, why are these characters so incapable of living happily in the workaday world? And I think for many of them, it's almost the, the secret subtext of so much of Salinger's work is seeing that it's a covert meditation on World War II, especially Salinger being half Irish, half Jewish, you know, the horrors of World War II spoke particularly powerfully to him. 